G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. In this video guys, we're going to make a box for historical crafting and sewing. So you might have seen a video I did just recently about what's inside my uh, medieval sewing kit. Uh, unfortunately I had a lot of noise in the background and the video didn't turn out quite as well as I hoped. Today, we're actually going to make that box or a very similar box to it. Okay, what we're going to use is 19 millimeter thick Tasmanian oak. You'd be quite uh, suitable to use various types of pine or birch, or various other types of wood, maybe even poplar. Uh, but, but oak is a really good one and this is going to last me the rest of my life and that's what I'm really hoping for. Uh, the sides are 130 millimeters tall and we'll go through the rest of it from there. We're going to cut the width at 25 centimeters. And the length is going to be 41 centimeters to allow for just a standard butt joint. Uh, so, given the thickness of the wood at 20, sorry, 19 millimeters, that gives us a total length of 45 centimeters. This is not a load bearing project, so it doesn't require any kind of technical joints. I'm simply butt joining these two pieces of oak together using a standard, uh, well I use Sikaflex brand white glue. And I'm gonna leave that to dry overnight. Uh, all things being equal, that should be fine. Um, and that, I've, I've never had that glue fail on me before. So this will work out really, really well. This is not a load bearing project, so I'm not worried in the least uh, about the glue failing. And contrary to what a lot of, contrary to what a lot of people think, you really don't actually need a lot of nails and screws and stuff for woodwork to be effective if you use a good quality glue. Now I'll see how that goes for drying off over the next couple of hours. I'm holding this joint in place. Uh, I realize these are not medieval nails. I wish I had access to them at the moment, but no one seems to have them in stock. Alrighty, I'm just going to use a jigsaw now to cut out. Just putting in a little bit of extra of the Sikaflex glue. And then this just gets clamped into place. Uh, I'm just going to run a route around the outside now just to tidy it up. Uh, 
I just recently got these really beautiful hinges from a company called Make Your Own Medieval. Unfortunately, I cannot, for the love of money or oh God, get uh, hold of any good medieval type nails at the moment. So I'm going to have to um, just use some screws, at least temporarily, until uh, until I can get some more of the uh, the good iron nails. Make Your Own Medieval is a really good company to deal with. So if you're in Australia or in the Pacific, uh, you know, these guys are really good. They know their stuff. They know their stuff really well. I would thoroughly recommend dealing with them. Alrighty, so we've basically finished the construction now. All there is to remain is really just to um, put a bit of a coat of varnish on it. So this is an oil-based stain which is exactly what I need. It's going to resist the weather and the UV light and the rain and stuff. Simple. Very important to do though. Alrighty, just going to put a front latch on. Uh, alrighty guys, all finished, all done. Another really great project to have got finished. Really happy with this, this has come out so well. It really is a, a really great thing to have. Got a nice little divider inside it. And uh, it'll keep all my crafting accessories all squared away for my tablet weaving and that kind of stuff and I think it's really important and it looks really really good very authentic kind of look and feel to it um, nice historical uh, hinges and stuff from um, Make Your Own Medieval so really excited about this and really happy to have got it done really hope you enjoyed today's video please like subscribe and share I'll catch you in my next video